Hello everyone, we've got, uh, we've got Loser's Final Action here uh, between Courier and Jenga Jam. Man with a thousand characters. <laughs> I apologize in advance if this is gonna blow at everyone's ears. <laughs> Terrible. Yes, okay, Rook versus a robot. Yeah, yes, I <laughs> I sympathize entirely. Jenga Jam plays a mean BBB. Uh, it's a tough matchup for any Rook, but uh, he's really going to have to, er, Courier's really going to have to earn his spot in the, uh, in the winner, in the finals, in the grand, grand finals. Nice, I like the bold nine, nine block opening. A uh, good uh, conservative opening by Jenga Jam as well, with opening with a block. Yep. Corey, you're not giving anything away, just resigning himself to go into range. Yeah, resigning himself to go to range um, indicates he probably didn't have any face cards in hand, otherwise he probably would have played them. Um, may also indicate that he just wants to settle into blocking a lot. Nice, I like this. I really like this uh, mono block play by uh, Courier here. Yep, powers up the nines. He's gonna have ten cards in hand already, so strong, oh, strong start. If uh, Jenga Jam has a throw, I'd throw here. Very unlikely that um, Rook is going to want to play anything but block until he has all of the tools that he needs. Yeah. Sniffs it out. Lands the throw. So I've slowly come to realize that um, BBB's J is actually incredibly good at range in this matchup. It's great uh, I mean, it's an awesome tool anyway, um, especially the uh, the 2.4 speed knockdown side. Uh, but it's especially important at range because it beats um, rock armor attempts to get out. Um, and since rock armor attempts, essentially rock armor at range, uh, or to get out of range, is so strong as Rook because it allows you to keep all of the cards that you need to... Um, to stay out of range uh, once you're actually out. Um, it's it's so so good and therefore the knockdown the knockdown card even though it deals you know only two chip and I think it's eight damage. Knockdown sound is eight damage I believe. Yeah. Um, still still a button you definitely want to be pushing as uh, as BBB at range. Nice. Okay, so if he has a any face card now, it becomes a good way to get out. Unfortunately, fours are still uh, beaten by just a straight normal. Um, definitely would uh, like to see Courier go for a rock armor attempt. Really strong here. You have a 50-50 shot of beating any of the blocks, and uh, as long as he doesn't respond with a single ace. Nice, okay. Gets out without even having to spend the card. Very nicely played. And now we know he has AA in hand. <clears throat> so he's well set up to actually threaten stuff here. Dodges become incredibly strong for BBB in this situation. Already played two of his eight, which is very nice. Um, single ace and double ace, also very good tools. Nice, lands the K through. Good stuff. 
as a hedge against uh, a dodge um, and any normals. He's already also played at least one six. So those are becoming more scarce. So he's only got three normal cards with which to beat K's in the future. Probably does not have aces in hand. Ooh! Nice! Second K. Very nicely done. Now, the only issue with this is that he's going... Uh, Courier is going to have to start representing normal throws. Uh, because he's played... Uh, because blocks are now incredibly... are going to become incredibly, incredibly safe uh, for BBB. So he's going to have to push that scary low, high risk, low reward, normal throw button. Yeah, okay, good. I'm glad he's willing to press it. Fortunately, he goes to range, but does have 12 cards in hand, so he's able to... <coughs> so he's able to um, threaten rock armor. Okay, Mega Jam attaches an ace to deal a little bit of damage. Overdrive, uh, overdrive probably into dodge, I would expect. The threat is Q, um, but I would probably dodge if I was BBB. Okay. I was expecting uh, Courier to gold burst there. That's that's essentially the mix-up. Uh, if he was expecting, yeah, I'm, I think he assumed that the five uh, would work in spite of that. I don't see a reason to play uh, a five block on an over or a special block on an overdrive turn otherwise. Okay, three aces confirmed in hand. It's going to become very scary for. Uh, for Jenga Jam once range ends and uh, Checkmate Buster is a legitimate threat. Um, it is far enough in the game and uh, Rook is at low enough health that a failed Checkmate Buster could be uh, very scary. Uh, however, he hasn't played a single face card other than Kings so far. Uh, so he could still have a ton of tools. Very nice. Flex that 13 damage. Okay, going into overdrive once again. And the threat from Rook is AA. Nice. That's a fine trade, fine trade to take. At least you get out of range. Um, BBB is at 32 health, you're at 30. Uh, no power-ups yet. Okay, there we go. Immediately powers up in order to threaten AA. Now it becomes a, a difficult dance for both of these players. Um, Jenga Jam can, has the superior attack. However, um, if Courier has any, can threaten fives or even just regular block. Ooh! Oh no! That's, oh, that's a terrible feeling. Oof. Tags on the additional 11, too. And now... Now it becomes face card city. Oh. <laughs> yeah. This is now... 100% of the time, uh, Jenga Jam should just play single ace. Just continuously play single ace until Rook dies. Or if he has enough pairs in hand, just double ace continuously as well. It's very unlikely that he has enough special blocks in order to prevent chip out here. Oh, what a rough way to go. Well, it's the gamble to take, right? Um, yeah, the other thing is even his normals deal chip damage here, so... 
<laughs> he doesn't even have to play the ace. Brutal. He's now at range, and this is this is looking unwinnable. He was unable to power up. Um, this better be a gold burst. 90% certain this is dodges. Just dodges as many of them as he has. Okay. Indicates he probably doesn't have any dodges, actually. Because it is absolutely 100% safe. There's no reason not to dodge there. Then again, again, without special block in hand, this is game over. Courier should absolutely special block here. Or AA. Special block or AA, depending on whether he calls an AA or a normal attack. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's hard to watch. Oh, God. That's so rough. It's, I really feel for Quarrier right now. It's such a brutal matchup. So, let's start the parade of AAs. Let's see it. I really hope that's another Joker. Okay, good. Uh, does he have any 5s left? He has one 5 left in the deck. He has roughly a 1 in 3 chance that the 5 is in his hand. Okay, I like this. I especially like this if he has that 5 in hand. 5 or another 3 in hand. Because every incentive for Jenga Jam is to uh, is to AA or single ace here, well, especially AA here. There's literally like four cards in his deck that it loses to. Yeah. Well played by Jenga Jam, closing it out. Goes up one zero. Wondering if uh, Courier switches out of this. Yes, we will see shortly. He does. I approve. Do not stay in that matchup. If only for your sodium intake. Ooh, Courier has the ability to get rid of a quite valuable card of uh, BBBs. Does not take it. Play the four, so playing the normal game. Nice. Having played the four, probably a good indicator that he didn't have anything faster than that. So very nicely done there. Sweet valuation trap, bro. <laughs> nice. Gets good damage off of that and is gonna get two aces out of it too. Cut here. No, okay. Nine cards in both players' hands. Two aces known in Courier's hand. I like the stiff jab to, uh, as a refusal to bow to ace pressure. gets the two. So Gwen has a lot... Hmm. Actually quite... Other than dodging and cues, she has a lot of stuff that loses to straight normal attacks by, uh, by BBB, actually. There's an interesting speed hole between uh, 0 and 1.2 uh, that's particularly vulnerable in this arrangement. Nice. I like the blocks.
I like representing blocks especially because it means that uh, Jenga Jam has to think about revealing blocks of his own to conserve the dodges. Because, uh, because of Gwen's card draw mechanic, um, she and the fact that she's on a timer, um, you you guess that she wants to play pretty aggressively. And this is a tough situation, so she can't dodge out of this. She pretty much has to play a Q or block correctly against um, against a normal attack here. Or Gold Burst. Gold Burst is always an option. Nice. Good combat win for Courier there. And start trading everything in his hand for aces. Ooh, tough getting rid of the sixes too, because they're such good um, uh, relentless strikes targets. And combo fodder and all that good stuff. Does she have a linker? Okay, her K and her J is a linker. Okay. <laughs> Learning about Gwen. <laughs> Just imagine a rainbow. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> a full call out on a uh, on a throw. I would probably take the damage here and save the jokers for uh, for getting out of range free. Not sure I like the blue burst there. Gives him more cards, which he doesn't need. Can't really use. I guess searching for queens. Yeah, just to get rid of an ace. Doesn't really do him much good here. Um, yeah, so I guess he must be searching for aces. Okay, dodge Q mix up. Nice. Counters with Q. Gets out of there. Gets the heck out of there. Okay. BBB representing that incredibly powerful AA move. Oh, what is the speed of his ace? 1.4. Okay. So the single ace loses to a ton of Gwen's options. But the, the AA loses only to defensive, so blocks, dodges, um, and the Q. But the Qs she really wants to keep for range. Okay, plays the Q. See the pump. Both of them in that 50 damage range. Neither of them have... Um, so Gwen can get incredible damage off of her combos um, and refill her hand very rapidly, and she does have aces locked and loaded. Um, but neither of these characters is in any is any is in any danger of lethal in this turn. Yeah, it gets the slow J stuffed. Oh, what speed is this? Faster? Oh no, the other one is even slower. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Interesting to see that, um, a linker, like a slow linker, uh, as well. I'm stuck in range prison. There's at least three aces on deck. He's hoping to push BBB to play a normal here. Let's see if BBB obliges. Okay. Ooh, can Relentless Strikes. Oh no. You have to deal. Hmm, interesting. Um, I'm not sure if. Relentless Strikes works at range. I would assume that it does. 
Maybe there's something in range? Ah, uh, okay. So because uh, all, all non-ranged moves become enders, uh, Gwen is unable to relentless strikes at range. Okay. That makes sense. So the two was played just to undercut Q and J from uh, from BBB. Getting very low on life here. Discarding aces, which makes sense. You can get those back. All the other tools in your hand, you only have the one. Finds another dodge. How many of those have been played now? We've got two, four, so half of the dodge is gone. Prevents damage. I like that blue burst more in this situation when it's late game. But uh, Jenga Jam successfully smothering Courier in this matchup. He's just not been able to put anything together and get out of here. Another dodge, yeah. As, uh, as Jenga Jam here, I think you play a dodge as soon as you have one. Just let the deck determine um, how tricky slash mix-up you're going to be. Okay, it gets rid of tens. Tens would extend uh, the game somewhat, but they're not going to be able to win it for her. Tough position here for Courier. He's got to get out fairly soon. Very soon, very soon, I should say. Got to get out very soon. He's got to deal. He's got to get really strong combat wins. Uh, the nice thing is he's got so many cards in hand and so many aces in hand that he can probably go. He can probably threaten. Um, nice. He can probably threaten uh, Dreadlands Portal or 22 damage super throw, um, or dodge into Dreadlands Portal several turns in a row. Unfortunately, even two successful Dreadlands portals are only going to take him down to four, so he still has to find some additional damage there. Theoretically is on a ten turn clock, as long as Courier doesn't take any combat damage. Tough spot. Tough spot, but still winnable. Ooh, not anymore. That's it. Lights out. GG. Well played, Jenga Jam. Bravo. Advances to the finals to fight Phoenix of the Ashes.